Today, you're going to discover why I believe real estate is the best asset class in the world. And I'm going to share with you how wise investors have been doubling and tripling their wealth from every investment they make. If you're new to my channel, it would mean the world to me if you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to own your real first or next real estate property as soon as possible. I think my favorite fact of all time in the real estate scene is that 90% of the world's millionaires made their wealth through properties. All right, that's right, that's right. More millionaires were made in real estate than anything else in the world. More than oil, more than trading, Forex, Bitcoin, social media, anything like that. Now, wealthy people either held their money in property, they made it somewhere else and held it in properties, or they made their money from properties. Two different things, all right? Both involve properties, okay? And you might be wondering how rental properties generate wealth, all right? Oh, is it just from the rent? That's not enough. That's what most people think. And I, and, and I like to compare rental properties with a helicopter. The four blades of a helicopter work together, right? To lift the helicopter into the sky and provide a smooth lift off and ride, right? So those four blades are what I like to call the four wealth generators of rental properties. Let's go have a look. The first wealth generator is appreciation. Right, over the last 200 years, the real estate market has witnessed many boom and bust cycles throughout history. The long trend though is always up. And the increase in value over time is slow but stable. Now, there are two types of appreciation, natural appreciation or forced appreciation. Smart investors who have experience in improving properties are at an advantage of forced appreciation. Now by natural, I mean the property's value increased without you doing anything, okay? Uh, so that could be like economic factors and the population rising, the market getting better. But forced appreciation is when you take an active role and fix or upgrade or change uh, the way it looks to increase the value and increase appreciation. All right, often investors like to open up the space by breaking down a wall or just changing the kitchen. Um, so appreciation though is just the cherry on top of the pie. It's not what you should look for when buying a property. Never ever let appreciation and capital gains uh, be the goal of purchasing a property, okay? Cash flow is the goal. Now let's go have a look at cash flow. The second wealth generator or blade of that helicopter is cash flow. And this is the main reason why investors buy rental properties, okay? We buy and hold rental properties for cash flow, all right? The cash flow generates in the form of unearned income, right? We're not doing anything, we're receiving income. So this is the number one goal of buying properties and it's the key to achieving financial freedom. The third blade or third wealth generator is equity buildup. So the monthly rent, right, collected from the tenants will pay down the mortgage loan, otherwise you don't buy. Now with every loan installment, a portion of the principal loan, uh, the amount will be paid down and the investor will own more and more equity in the mortgage property, month by month. So this means, assuming the property's market value did not change, okay, the investor will become wealthier after each loan installment of the mortgage, month by month. You're owing less money to the bank and you're putting more money inside. It's like a piggy bank. So the fourth wealth generator is tax savings. And it's one of my favorite, okay? Real estate owners can have access to large amounts of cash without ever needing to sell the property and pay capital gains tax, all right? Remember, this is like, you can eat your cake and keep it too, all right? Depending on the equity level in a property, an investor can refinance the property through a mortgage and take home tax-free cash, <laughs> all right? Tax laws now uh, vary a bit country to country. You should check with your own tax laws in your country or leave a comment below which country you're in. Now, rental properties have additional tax benefits. Some tax laws allow different tax deductions on expenses related to operations of the rental property. Now, another tax advantage of real estate is depreciation. Even though values go up over time, some governments expect value uh, to depreciate 
and they want you to take account of that and take account of things wearing out. So this allows us to reduce our taxable income. Now, some countries offer a major tax advantage of allowing investors to reinvest the capital gains from the sold property into new properties. And therefore, you avoid to pay tax till later, right? It's called a 1041 exchange. If you didn't get what I mean, let me put it this way. If you sell your property, you have to pay capital gains tax. Unless you buy another property with all that money, then you avoid it, all right? So this is the quick thing of buy four houses, sell them all for one red hotel in Monopoly. Now there are many other advantages of rental properties that come into play while the four blades in your helicopter, appreciation, cash flow, equity buildup, and tax savings are busy working to generate wealth to the investor. Now that's how wealth is generated in real estate. That's how you take off. It's the combination of these four. Now there's other advantages. It's tangible meaning you can touch the property, all right? It's a physical property that you can see, touch, smell, and walk through. Many other investments out there which are traded over the phone or online are not necessarily backed up by a real physical object behind them. It's either just on paper or it's digital, just numbers. Next thing is it's shelter, which is a basic need and it's always in demand. As much as food and water, people need a place to live. All right, the next advantage is it's, it's leverageable. Okay, that's my favorite. The fact that real estate is tangible and livable makes it reasonably secure, right? So the banks love that, which makes real estate the preferred asset for banks to put as collateral when they lend you money. Now, real estate can be financed either front end where it can be bought on margin or at the back end where existing owners can borrow money against the property, um, against their equity in the property. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki taught me that anyone can become at least as rich as the amount of good debt they take in their life. And that there's no better good debt as buying real estate properties on margin. Next advantage is that it's accessible meaning it doesn't matter which race you are or whether you're a male or a female or and you don't need some special degree of some sort it's for everyone all right everyone can buy real estate and you don't need to have all the cash to own it guys there's there's many different government sponsored mortgages that make real estate accessible to almost everybody there is a there is a law that if you don't own a home the government will help you help finance that next advantage is it's stable real estate prices are slow to rise and slow to fall all right, this is what makes real estate a favorable investment. It's stable, it's predictable. More than any other investment that are subject to fluctuations in periods measured in, in seconds, such as the stock market, and minutes, such as gold and other metals. Okay, but real estate is measured in quarters, but felt in years. Which brings us to the next advantage. It's reliable, right? It, it brings generational security, it's reliable. Throughout history, it's been the easiest way wealth gets transferred through, through the family lineage. Castles have been passed down for 2,000 years. <laughs> it's been the way to protect wealth for centuries. And each country has its own stories, right? Each country has its own stories about real estate ownership and wealth recorded throughout time. Which brings us to the next uh, advantage. It's negotiable, right? One of my favorite features of real estate is that their price tags are asking price or listing price doesn't mean jack shit. It means nothing to me. Investors don't have to inv accept the price they see. You can determine the real value uh, of the property, then you can hustle and buy below listing price and below market price, below asking price, okay? You can't do this in stocks. You can't do this in gold. You can't do this in any other commodity, but you can do this in real estate. So you take use of it. Next, it's improvable. If you bought it in the right location, an average property purchased will need little investment of you to forcefully appreciate the property. So you, so you can take an active role and improve the property. You can't do that anywhere else. I, I, I like to invest in problematic properties because I have the team to examine the purchase, renovate it in a, in a, in a way where I triple my money that I invested. Now you can improve it by changing the floors or the kitchen, or it's just as little as spending $10 on a bucket of white paint just to brighten the place up. Uh, next, it's controllable. Real estate is quite easy to manage without much time required. It takes me around two hours a month. And even if I'm super, super busy, I can still manage them, all right? 
Uh, and eventually, if I want to travel more frequently, I can assign a property management company to run the operations. Control is what makes real estate my favorite asset class because you can actively control your income producing asset. You're not hoping or begging and praying for something to happen or somebody to do well. You have complete control. So as you're probably beginning to understand, real estate is a great way to build real wealth, generational wealth, wealth that lasts. It's not a get rich quick scheme, but instead it's a get rich for sure scheme. And it is my best choice for building long-term sustainable wealth and financial freedom. I know what you're thinking. One of these cash flowing properties aren't going to make you a millionaire, but I want you to imagine what it would feel like to be able to purchase one of these money printing machines the right way every time okay and these little wealth helicopters giving you positive cash flow every month these wealth copters <laughs> and to be able to learn how you can buy one a year then eventually two a year until you have a fistful of these little money printing machines with the four blades all right the four wealth generators in each of them paying you monthly guys an investment must pay you monthly that's it it's not an investment if it doesn't pay you so then, then imagine once you paid them off and they're giving you even more cash flow and you can take these cash out of these properties without even selling the properties and reusing it for more properties. This, my friend, is why I love real estate. And this is why I will spend my entire life educating everyone who had no clue of what these homes have to offer them. All right. When I learned all that, my life changed. All right. When I learned that. So. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope it made sense. Hope you were able to take something from it. Hit the thumbs up button. Give me a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Comment below if you have any more questions. Let me know where you're from. Let me know your age. Let me know if you have any questions, how I can help you. Take care. Sana Sanani. Till next time.